Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuked, and today we are going to learn about ControlNet and its various models. Uh, first of all, ControlNet is a stable diffusion model that allows you to replicate object compositions or human poses from a reference image. And this is extremely useful when you want to depict a humanoid subject in a specific pose, but also changing a style of an object to maintaining her main layer. Before ControlNet, you had to spend a significant amount of time trying various prompts to achieve the desired position. Uh, personally, I use ControlNet in two ways, either with a reference image that already contains a complete subject, such as a photo or an image of a particular scene, or with PoseMe.art, which allows me to create custom poses through a simple interface. The way a uh, human composition or pose is extracted from the image depends on the model used, and ControlNet has a variety of models designed to handle different situations, such as in painting or extracting from manga or anime. The most commonly used models are undoubtedly three. Scribble, which allows us to transform our scribbles into an image. Canny, which enables the general extraction of features from an image. And Open Pose, which uses a well-known library for human pose detection and representation. You can download the models you're interested in, along with their YAML files from the repository on Hugging Hub. The link is in the description. Next, you'll need to place them in the appropriate folder in Comfy UI under Models Control Nut. Um, now let's try a few examples. First, create a simple environment and add the usual essential components for image generation by loading the default environment. And then add the Control Nut loader, which will load your model in the control net apply, which will apply the control to your final image. So for this first example, we'll use open pose. Our control net works through prompt fields. In the case of simple control net apply, you'll have access to only one prompt field, usually used as a positive prompt. In the case of the advanced one, we will have both available also in the advanced one, we would have the possibility to decide exactly when it is applied. For now, let's proceed with the positive prompt only. And so connect everything like this. Perfect. So now for simplicity, I'll go to poseme.art and place a mannequin in one of the many poses that the site offers. And then I'll press export, frame what I want to replicate, and choose export open pose with hands, since hands are important in this pose. And I want them in the final image. Um, now let's load the just exported image into our workflow and set it as the input for control nat apply. Okay, let's try generating the image. Feel free to play with the parameters until you achieve the desired result. For the scribble and canny models, the process is the same. You'll need input like sketches or models with well-defined lines. And to simplify your life, preprocessors are here to help. 
and you can download them with the sweet, comfy UIs, control net, uh, auxiliary preprocessors. What are preprocessors? Uh, they are nodes capable of transforming a regular image into something that can be more accurately interpreted by our control net models. To help you understand, I'll use a workflow you can download directly from the repository I mentioned earlier. Load a test image A and start the queue. Uh, as you can see, preprocessors modify the image in different ways. Uh, this input will then be passed to the usual control net apply, which will uh, use the selected control net model to generate a coherent image through stable diffusion. So let's go back to the previous workflow and try using an image like this to generate a similar one. I would like to use advanced apply this time. Um, for poses only, I recommend using open pose so that you have complete freedom to choose the look of your subject. As preprocessors, however, I will use DW preprocessor based on DW pose, which greatly improves body position detection when compared to the normal open pose preprocessor. As always, adjust the parameters to determine the best result for you. And that's all for today. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the basics of ControlNet. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this tutorial useful. And also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And until next time, keep dreaming. <laughs>